All right, let's get this show on the road. Play game, and of course, this was made by the Newgrounds owner, so we have the obligatory Newgrounds plug. And yes, this is at a cemetery. And yeah, so just so that you know, Johnny dies at the end. So this isn't going to be a huge surprise. Nonetheless, the ending is a huge surprise, even though we already know Johnny dies, and you'll see why. When we get there, unless you've already played the game. Bank of San Francisco, this is where Johnny works. What a beautiful day! Not exactly what you'd expect of a guy who's gonna commit suicide in eight days, but whatever. And yes, that was an earthquake, which is sort of a plot device added to the game just so that we can't explore the entire city of San Francisco. Instead, you're just restricted to this area where Johnny lives. And the bridge just collapsed right behind me, so yeah, if you try to go left of the bank, you'll see that the bridge is completely destroyed and there's no way to get across, so you're basically stuck on this little part of San Francisco. And this is Claudette, who is Lisa's mother, and she has a lot of interest in having Johnny as her future son-in-law, because Johnny is rich, you see? And as the movie emphasizes, Lisa can't support herself. She can't provide for herself. God knows why. Maybe she's just lazy. Exactly. As my future son in life, expect you to provide for Lisa. And yes, you're going to see that a lot in the game. Lisa has been eyeing up her red dress at the dress shop. Claudette is really bossing you around a lot in this game. That would be the perfect time to give her a gift. Yeah. Oh, okay, Claudette. Whatever you say. <laughs> Yeah, I can't really replicate Wisso's accent, it's just undescribable. I'm French-Canadian, not batshit insane. <laughs> okay, so... now... <laughs> oh, this is going to be interesting later. Claudette goes with Mark, and... Um, yeah, you're gonna see in a few minutes what is going to go on between these two. Now, instead of going home or buying the dress, we're going to get the main side quest of the game out of the way. You found a rock spoon, yep. Yeah, there are ten spoons that you can find in this game, and finding them all unlocks the perfect ending. So, we're gonna get this out of the way on day one, so we won't have to bother with the spoons ever again afterwards. Now there's a spoon right in there in the alley on the skeleton. Come on. Ah, there we go. Sinister spoon. Now while I'm in the area, I'm going to get started on another side quest which involves reading Danny's journal every day. Now, this is Danny's room right here. Danny is basically a teenage boy that's basically in Johnny and Lisa's care, but he has a crush on Lisa. Everything in the world has a crush on Lisa. My Lisa is so beautiful. And yeah, oh, there's a, maybe a bucket of vomit. I don't know what it is. All right, here we go. Let's read Denny's journal for April 15th. Elizabeth and I had a nice date last night. I would rather go hang out with Johnny and Lisa, though. Yeah, because he's obsessed with Johnny for some reason as well, but not in the same way as he's obsessed with Lisa. Because, yeah, if you, if you see the movie, it's just plain creepy. And this is Lisa, but we're going to head to the kitchen right now, where our third spoon is. And since I've already done a kitchen joke in Platinum, I'm not going to bother this time. So, I think, yeah, I can get out of there. Yeah, am I forgetting something? Oh, wait, yeah, I'm forgetting something! You have to go over to Mark's Love Shack here. I love how it says Sunday Football Toss! Yeah, it's a recurring theme in the game. And, oh my god! Hi, Hot Top! You're not disturbed. Oh, okay, that is one of six things I wish I could unsee. So do I, because that's... Oh, oh yeah, Johnny doesn't drink! And yeah, there's a fire spoon in the fireplace, but that, did that really require us to see that? Well, actually, yes, because those things he can't unsee, well, you get a medal for this at the end of the game. There are several medals that you can get over the course of the game, and if you find all six things that you can't unsee, you get a medal for that as well. You also get a medal during the ending for collecting all the spoons. Now there's a spoon somewhere in... The, the the flower shop. Come on, where is it now? Come on, can't afford to suck. Ah, oh, there we go. Flower spoon. 
So now this was spoon number five. Out of time coffee with the DeLorean. There was a time spoon in the DeLorean. And I'm going to go in the coffee shop, pick some hot chocolate, medium size, because you're going to get the metal if you do that. Metal, the Johnny. I don't know why the Johnny, maybe because there's something I'm missing, but whatever. We got uh, our first medal for this game. And this is the police station, where I believe there's a spoon in the jail cell. Shang spoon. So now, I think we are up to seven. And yeah, we've got those policemen here. See any crimes this week? The reason why there is a police station in this game will become apparent later on. But anyway, let's get out of here and grab the remaining three spoons. So there is one in here, Lisa Park. Special thanks to Johnny, our favorite donator. Wood spoon, yeah. Johnny is everyone's favorite everything in this game. Chlorophyll spoon, excellent. Yeah, it's a recurring gag because of uh, a joke the nostalgia critic made about a specific scene in the movie where the flower lady says that Johnny is her favorite customer. So now Johnny is everyone's favorite everything in the game. So now there's only one spoon left, and it's over here. Wesso Street Super. It's in the electronics shop. And while we're at it, we're going to buy a tape recorder. But first, let's check out all those spoons we have. We have all of them. Recorders are on sale this week. We're going to buy a recorder right away because we're going to need it for later. And if you talk to the dog, hi, doggy! Another part of that scene that the Nostalgia Critic made fun of. I never know where I may need to record things, but you're going to know in a few days. You're my favorite customer. Exactly what I was talking about, except that uh, it was the lady in the flower shop that said it in the movie, but now everyone says it as sort of a joke. So now that we've got all the spoons gathered, we can head back to the Women's Fashion and Tuxedo Rental store. And yeah, Johnny's tux isn't ready yet, but that's not what we're here for. I was actually thinking I might drive by a dress for my Lisa. Okay, and so this is the dress that you see to your left, because the right one is plug ugly, and yeah, undress the mannequin, will you? And by the way, as you probably noticed, Johnny starts with six million dollars in his bank account, and I don't know if it's possible at all to run out of money, because six millions are way more than you'll ever need. So let's go home, huh? And first thing we're going to do, we're going to put the tape recorder in the answering machine, so that we'll record everything, which is going to be important later on in the game. Hi, babe! And we're going to Take the dress and wow! Star shower! Woohoo! Wow, you look so sexy, Lisa! <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try and stop, even though it's way too tempting to make fun of Tommy Wiseau's acting and his accent. And okay, this is Danny, who, as I said, is uh, pretty much their surrogate son. But, uh, yeah, he wishes he could do Lisa, actually, which is pretty, pretty creepy when you actually watch the movie. It's like, what the fuck is this guy on? But then again, he's a drug addict, so whatever. Nice to see you, Denny. I'm going to take a nap. <laughs> Can I go upstairs, too? Yeah. Oh, yeah, and that chuckle Johnny does, he does it a lot in this game. And he does it a lot in the movie as well, so it's fairly true to the movie in a way. So, yeah, now we can check out those paintings. That is my least favorite painting. Then why are you keeping it? High painting! <laughs> and high painting, you're my favorite! But before going upstairs for some hot belly button sex, we have to go to the kitchen. And then I'm just going to show you a little something. If you grab the knife over there and you point it to Johnny, I would have to be pretty angry to do that. Yeah, you kill yourself in eight days with a bullet to the mouth. So, yeah. He can't imagine himself doing this quite yet. And what the hell is that? I have no idea what the heck this is, but Johnny's right. Still can't unsee it. So that's two out of six right now. And now we're in the bedroom. There is no one to call. And 
then now we're gonna get it on. Ha ha, smooch. No, oh, oh come on, Danny is just so freaking creepy. I just like to watch you guys, and he's at least he's open about it. You gotta give the guy credit. And Johnny takes it surprisingly well. And uh, yeah, as the nostalgia critic put it, it's a movie where everyone takes really bad news really well, except for Lisa cheating on uh, on Johnny with half the town. See? Ha ha ha! Yeah, you got you just heard that chuckle again. And we're skipping the belly button sex, thankfully. Wednesday, this is the second day of nine in this game. Ah! They can time your whistle! That is a million out of six things I can't unsee! Jesus Christ, Tom Falk, you sadistic bastard! And, of course, we can't go down the streak in the streets of San Francisco, so we gotta take a shower first. Yeah! Oh, man! Jesus Christ, I don't want to see this anymore! And he's wiggling his ass! On top of that, oh my god, and if you click on the toilet, by the way, you can make water spout out of the toilet. I better put on clothes. And, by the way, Lisa clearly doesn't have any hello gratuitous nudity. Well, now that this is out of the way, but we're, we're going to have to take a lot more showers over the course of the game, so don't think we're done with Tommy Wiseau's little Johnny just quite yet. So, now we're gonna read Danny's journal again. I just like to watch Johnny and Lisa, but they never let me. Creepy. I get it, though, they just want to be alone. <laughs> Come on. What is this guy on? Well, the joke falls flat on its face, because as we'll see later on, he is on something. And oh, I just, sorry, I just stretched the screen. I'm just going to fix it real quick. There we go. That was an accident. I apologize for that. And we're going to go to work at the Bank of San Francisco. Great news, Johnny! We've put your ideas to work and the bank is making lots of money! You mean, banks usually don't make lots of money? Because I, I'm under the impression that they exist just for that. They say they keep your money, but in fact, they literally keep it for themselves. You're our favorite employee, and him not getting that promotion is a major plot point. And Claudette waited! at the exit of the bank just to ask him that. Just how obsessed is she with Johnny's well? This is ridiculous. You will need to buy a house. Yeah, she's bossing you around a lot in the game. Don't go home empty-handed. Get Lisa some flowers before you break the news. And we're going to see that infamous scene that the nostalgia critic made fun of for so long. So it's past the house. So we're gonna go over there, and there we go, flowers and gifts for all occasions. And this scene was recreated verbatim. Can I have a dozen red roses, please? Oh, hi, Johnny, I didn't know it was you. Here you go. That's me. How much is it? It will be $18. Here you go, keep the change. You're my favorite customer, and... Thanks a lot, bye! And where's the high doggy? Well, okay, there we go. We have our high doggy because it was actually incorporated in that scene in the movie. So now we're going to offer those flowers to Lisa just to make amends for the fact that we haven't gotten our promotion yet. Hi, Johnny! Hi, Johnny! Yeah, she's not interested in Johnny. She's interested in the flowers. But who can blame her? She was raised by a materialistic bitch, so... No surprise there. Did you get your promotion? Nah. And she's gonna ask it again. You didn't get it, did you? What part of nah don't you understand? I know the nostalgia critic said that, but seriously, he was absolutely right. And now Johnny is clearly in a state of despair over not getting his promotion. And if the music change didn't clue you in, and this is where you see that the game is fairly dialogue intensive when it comes to key scenes in the movie like that one, so we're just going to have to check out the dialogue to progress the story because, well, this is much more story driven than any game I've LP'd so far. <laughs> At least you have friends, I didn't get any calls today. Well, there's only way to find out! I have this tape recorder! No, actually, he only produces it at the very end of the game. So next time, in the room, we're going to keep 
watching Johnny's and Lisa's everyday lives. Sounds exciting, huh? Well, actually, it's a lot more exciting than it sounds like. <laughs>